Hey everybody, Dirk Bentley. We're at a, a rehearsal space. We're getting ready to go start our throttle wide open tour in actually uh, two days. So we're back here, uh, as you can see, just kind of putting the tour up and uh, checking all the lights and sound and stuff. And just want to show you a little bit of the stage and the gear and stuff. So follow me. First, uh, first place we're going to come to is the, the Guitar World. Izzy, come over here. <laughs> I knew I was going to get him in here. This is Izzy's world. He's our he's the uh, guitar tech. Uh, he makes sure all these. All these things turn on and, and play. I actually used to know how to change strings. I used to change like three a day for many years. But once Izzy came on board, I've pretty much forgotten how to do anything except hold a pick. Because he does everything. Let's first uh, let's, let's go up on stage and show you what we got up on stage. Man, this is, uh, this is one of my, my favorite guitars. We um, About two years ago, we kind of started doing a Buck Owens thing every day. Buck Owens is one of the guys that really got me into country music, and uh, along with Waylon Jennings. And uh, but If you know anything about Buck Owens, he, he and the guys had those... Those uh, spark these gray sparkle Telecasters, and uh, to me, that's really why the, the Telecaster between this between Buck Owens Telecaster and uh, Don Riches, and then the, the Waylon Jennings his, his Telecaster on the Dukes of Hazzard, the theme song that black and white uh, telly. To me, just um, I just always associated the Telecaster with uh, with country music. So I wanted to have one made just like uh, like Don's uh, telly and Buck Owens telly. So we had this uh, guy's a Fender. Custom shop put together the paint job on this, and one of my favorite guitars. I don't play it that often because I'm, I, I do better on a thin line. It's uh, more forgiving for me, but uh, I do love this guitar. But I'll show you the rest of the stuff we got over here. My main guitar is a. Uh, Pointing the light. It's the, the this thin line, and I have a really uh, got a new one being made that's gonna be red. It's kind of a, a cross between a telly and uh, just a, sta a telly, a standard telly and a thin line, but um. This is one of my, uh, my favorite guitars. I've got to hide the capo. No one, uses, no one uses capo on a electric guitar. But uh, it's just it's, it's forgiving, you know. The double the humbuckers uh, usually stay on the back one. Just it provides kind of a warm tone that uh, allows me to kind of get away with some stuff because I'm not the lead guitar player in this band. There's there's five guys in this band. One last thing I'll show you guys before we leave is uh, kind of the guitar world where we keep all our stuff. Uh, is he? Yeah, you already said that. <laughs> He's the uh, our, our guitar tech. I'll bring you guys down into our uh, little world down here. Izzy's world, bro. This is uh, a really cool guitar that uh, Billy Siegel at Fender hooked me up with. I love this thing. It's kind of Brian Setzer uh, signature model Gretsch. Um, I don't exactly play it like he does, but I do love this guitar. Also, the dudes in Foo Fighter had the same guitar too. But just I use this just for a couple songs, just a kind of a signature song thing that. Uh, I really like. It's cool. And then, uh, this is another one I got from a Wildwood Guitars out in Colorado that I love this guitar. I love the color of it. I love it. It's been all relicked out. I'm just being totally honest, really not a good enough guitar player to really do what this guitar does. But it, uh, it's, a, it's a great guitar and hopefully, you know, after continuing to get more touring and more playing, uh, get to where I can actually spend more time with this guitar. But I do pull it out there every now and then for a song or two. But spend most of my time on the on the thin line. The thin line not only because of the uh because of the humbucker and just the warm tone but just thinking of Waylon uh and that's kind of the guitar that Waylon played so I, I enjoy playing it for that reason. That's it guys that's our stage that's uh what it looks like back here. We'll catch you guys on the road. Thanks Defender for all the cool stuff.